Morning, all. I'm John Daniel, and today I'm going to talk about the Mount Etna wines, Rosso and Bianco and Rosato, from the Firiato Winery. So let's look at the words first. So Edna Rosso, Edna Bianco, these are DOC wines that have definitions and meanings to them. Edna Rosso has to be made from the grape Norello Capuccio and Norello Mascalese. It has to be at least 80% Norello Mascalese, and it can be as much as 100%. Generally, they're a blend of the two. And Edna Bianco has to be at least 60% Caracante. It can be um, more than that, but it has to be at least 60% Caracante. What's interesting, all of these varietals are literally only grown on Mount Etna. So Mount Etna is Europe's highest volcano and it's active. And so the soils are all dark and uh, black soils that have obviously a high mineral content and they're just wonderful for growing grapes. It's a high elevation and, and Mount Etna has snow on the top of the mountain for five months of the year. So it's really like, as they'll say, an island within an island. It's, it's different than the rest of Sicily and it's, uh, some people refer to it as Sicily's Burgundy. So let's take a look at the map of Italy and now we're gonna go to Sicily and see where it, it's located. So here's Italy. You go across the Straits of Messina and here is Mount Etna right here. Here's the town of Catania, a very important town. So Mount Etna is right here, not far from uh, the Straits of Messina. And also uniquely, there's a zone on Mount Etna that is the only place they can grow Etna Bianco and Etna uh, Rosso. Other areas they can grow these grapes, but they'll just call it Norello Mascalese or Norello Capuccio. They can't call it Etna Rosso because these have been designated the best areas. So Firiato Winery has two different <clears throat> levels here. One is La Sable della Etna, and they have a Bianco in a Rosso, wonderful wine. So La Sable means the sands of Etna because the soils are like fine sands, although at times they can be rocks as big as your fist. And then they also have Etna Rosso, Cavanera and La Sabe. So they have both Cavanera and La Sabe, the sands and the black cave, basically. So what are these wines? The, the, the um, Biancos are very pleasant wines. They taste, have tastes of pear, apple, flowers. Very pleasant, everybody likes them. The, um, the Rosso is really of berries and it's, it's a medium bodied wine but it's a powerful wine. So it's, it's uh, people have characterized it to be somewhat, although it's a unique varietal, like the Nebbiolo, meaning up in Piedmonte. It's, it's, um, it's got a lot of power in it, but it's not thick like a Cabernet Sauvignon. But it's a good wine that is versatile, so you could have it with fish. They particularly um, like it with tuna in, uh, in Sicily, and they feel this is uh, an excellent wine for tuna. And, Firiato is an iconic winery, and they have six estates, and one of them being here. And of course, their star, star among stars, is Sigmund Etna. This is their Etna Rosso Reserva. And it is made from 150-year-old vines. And one of the things that they did, and we'll, we'll show it to you first, they wrapped it up and put it in this wonderful box and paper. And we'll break the seal. And here is their Sigmund Etna. So it's Etna Rosso Reserva Sigmund Etna. So what they have also here is two certificates in here. They went to two universities to verify a couple things. One, that the vines are in fact 150 years old. One university came and studied them and said, yes, they're 150 years old. And the other one studied them to see that the varietal was Norello Mascalese. Because when vines get to be 150 years old, they, they're, they're a lot different, just like people. And they said, yes, these are Norello Mascalese, most of them. 
But what they also found out with some grapes, vines growing there, that could be identified in their data bank of DNA as any other varietal. So there were two, some two or three unique varietals they found there that they're propagating and seeing what their characteristics are. But a little bit of those ancient varieties are in here. The other thing unique about it is these are pre phylloxera vines. So around 150 years ago, phylloxera came from the United States and it's a pest, an insect that goes and devours the roots of vines. Some people brought Native American uh, grapes over to Europe to see how they would do, but they brought these insects with them on the roots and it destroyed the vineyards of Europe and consequently they had to graft their grape varietals on rootstock that were resistant to these pests. But high on Mount Etna, the pests couldn't survive. And they're theorizing a couple things. One is if you put the sands of Etna under a microscope, they're barbed. So those insects couldn't stand that barbed um, volcanic soil. And the other thing they're saying, the high altitude of the, of the, um, of the mountain. So the uniqueness, 150 year old vines, pre phylloxera Etna Rosso Reserva from Filiato Sigmund Etna. We are, they, they don't grow very much of this. We have a very small allocation of this, maybe the only one in the United States, very small allocation of Sigmund Etna. And um, uh, so it goes out pretty fast and we get a couple shipments of a year of, of not much of it, but it's a real, real, real collector's item. Thank you for listening.